Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for around Tuesday the 20th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. I just wanted to say before I started, so a really kind of like um, a tarot reader that I really liked and respected was Estelle, like so many of you. And for those of you who know Estelle, she um, she announced on her channel that she had health issue. And that was probably about a year ago, I think. And it seems, I think over the weekend, she's put a notice on her website, IamEstelle.com. And it seems she's deteriorating so she's asked for healing prayers, a healing and prayers sent to her. So for those of you who feel inclined, who know her, you know, I just thought I would mention it. I certainly have been sending those vibes out as much as I can as well. Um, but as I say, I mean, I genuinely liked her as a tarot reader. So I thought I would mention it on my channel as well. Okay, so I have two cards here. Let's get back to the reading. So we have within the next few weeks... I've got something we can to reconsider yeah okay so I'm going to pull the cards let's see what we get I'm using classic rider weight today one of my favorite well my very favorite cards okay so what do we have please for all signs what do we have for all signs please interesting Page of Swords, it's fallen out reversed. Uh, the Sun. Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Swords. I'm definitely getting this reassessment energy here. Yeah. So it feels for some of you, and you're being told actually it's going to be within the next few weeks according to the cards. So from now, <laughs> from now until kind of like the next few days, few weeks, there is definitely some opportunity that you might act in haste on, that you might make a hasty decision on, and it might not be the right one. And you're being told to... You're definitely being told to reconsider. So the Ace of Pentacles is very good. It feels to do with money, career, finance, this. I, I feel that you might dismiss this out of, you know, without probably giving it enough thought. Um, and this Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It's handed to you by God, the divine, the universe. Yeah. Now, the... Ace, the Ace of Pentacles can be to do with, you know, new job offers, new business uh, startups, um, partnerships. You know, uh, it can be very good in terms of being offered something in terms of money, career, finances. Um, could be some good news to do with, you know, uh, you know, if you've been um, acting hastily. It feels in this situation it feels like something good is happening it's a golden opportunity for you to consider so in that respect I'm feeling there is good news happening but for some of you you'll you'll might dismiss it out of turn yeah it feels like a hasty decision that is not in your best interest here so just watch out for that because the sun is shining on this opportunity and this opportunity the queen holds the pentacle is where the growth is is where the success is is where the reward is is where the abundance is queen of pentacles is somebody who is patient 
who is very focused, who really understands the facts of the situation as well. So there's definitely an energy of pay close attention to this. She is, a, she is a sign of success. Now it could be the Queen of Pentacles, male or female energy. Gemini, this is Capricorn for me as a reader, offering you something as well. It could be the person offering you uh, this opportunity. And with the sun shining on it, which is divine energy shining on this opportunity, it definitely feels like this is something that you need to take action towards. You know, the sun is the card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness. So I'm definitely feeling in this energy, this is where the growth is. This is where the material reward is. Uh, absolutely, this is something to be really focused on and considered in detail in, in your own time. She's all about taking time to assess things as well. And again, I've got that followed up with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, the Seven of Swords can be a card of self-sabotage, self, you know, it can be where we can self-sabotage sometimes. And I'm definitely getting this. I mean, you know, the Six of Cups can be a revisiting energy. Um, can be revisiting the past, but in this energy, this is about taking stock, evaluating. Um, taking the time to evaluate something, you know, what's of value to you, what's not of value to you, how you need to move forward. So it, it definitely feels in this energy, there's some kind of opportunity that you're being told to take stock of and don't dismiss out of turn. Because there's self-sabotage here. Yeah. So within the next few weeks, definitely an energy of reconsider your options, reconsider those possibilities. I mean, the Six of Cups is also to do with joy, finding your happy equilibrium as well. So again, what is gonna truly make you happy? Um, but I'm definitely getting this energy. It's, it's definitely taking stock of something that's coming your way. Because I feel for some of you, you might dismiss this and it's the right opportunity for you. Okay. So what do we have as a final message, please? Angels, spirits, guides, final message, please. We have wail, tenderness, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, I like this energy. We have otter initiations. Be open through this transitional time. And this is what you're being told to be. Be open. Just go with the flow. Uh, definitely take your time. We have time energies here. Take your time to really evaluate something. Yeah. So that is the message I have for you today. Um, if you enjoyed it, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.